would like to welcome you to bemorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Why are you laughing? I'm just laughing. You're so sweet. <laughs> Bless your heart. All the way from Dallas, Texas, Paige Heard. Yes. Have you ever been to the White House before? I've never been before. I mean, when I was playing on the Oval, I was kind of in the White House, but no, I've never been to the real White House before. This is cool. How does it feel? It feels really surreal. I'm not sure if it's hit me yet. It's, it's, uh, Even though it's right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're here. You're at the center of political power in the entire world. Yeah, I would have never thought either, so. When you got into the arts, so you never imagined this could happen? Well, not, okay, so I, I didn't think that this couldn't happen. I just never saw a reason as to why I'd be at the White House, you know, unless I was here for like a party, but uh -huh. like not to come speak and be a voice for my people. So now I, I don't know if I forewarned you, my, my abuelo is uh, from Puerto Rico. My oh no, you didn't tell me. My abuelo is from Puerto Rico as well. Get out. Yes, so we, we may be cousins. Oh, we might. What does it mean in Black History Month to celebrate Latin roots, our Cubano roots, our Puerto Rican, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, no, it means a lot. It's super incredible. You know, I think sometimes growing up as an Afro-Latina, we get um, stuck in our African-American side. Um, and so to be able to represent both sides of myself during Black History Month is something that I've never got to do and something that I'm super proud to do. And here at the White House, like, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> because if we were to celebrate anything other than African American in the black community, we could get a little shade. Like, yes. why? Why are you trying? Yes. Like, I, I have indigenous roots. A lot of us have black Indian roots, and, and if you mention that, some people, oh, why are you trying to pull this in? Have yes. you experienced yes. that? Yes. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So a lot. As of if you're to be ashamed of that. Yes, and a lot of times you want to just say like, I'm just black. Yeah. Just so you don't Keep have to deal with, yeah, just so you don't have to deal with people and the comments that people, you know, have to say and all that good stuff, so. Because the, the truth of the matter is we are worldwide. We, we don't yeah. just speak English. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Spain owned Florida until 1831. Wow. A lot of people don't know that if you escaped to Spain and you, if you were enslaved, you could get your freedom. Wow. Thank you for teaching me something. Yeah. So there's, there's so much to our culture. Mm -hmm. What what would your family say, your your ancestors, to know that you are at the White House representing your your family, your community, your countries? You know, I think they'd be really proud. I haven't told a lot of my family that I'd be here today because I just wanted to show pictures and just show them the aftermath. I was also super nervous, so I didn't want to do anything. Why are you anything. nervous? I don't know. I don't know. I was it, just like nervous. But it comes with new experiences. Yeah, definitely. It comes with new experiences. I, um, you know, it comes with nerves or, you know, do I belong here? Do I know sure enough about do. politics? Do I know enough about this, you know, subject matter? So I'm super proud. I'm super happy. I think my family would be happy. My ancestors would be happy. I know my sisters are proud and happy to be here with me today. So I'm excited. Now, you got to mention, you know, I don't know if I'd shared this. I, I told you part of it, but my favorite, mm -hmm. my first favorite rapper of all time mm -hmm. was Earl Simmons. I even have the book, DMX. You know him? That's my godfather. What did he mean to you? Um, he means, he still means everything to me. Yes. Uh, that is a huge, huge piece of my heart. Uh, one of my very dear best friends and um, somebody that I can't thank God enough for giving me in this lifetime. Well, I thank God for the prayer. He put a prayer on every album. Oh my gosh, all the prayers were incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Sometimes I have to listen to those just to get through. I'm still not where I can listen to his music yet, but uh, I will listen to the prayers. Slip and fall. I got to get up. Get okay. me back on my feet so I can tear things up. <laughs> uh, any final thoughts, Paige? And we're so proud of you. Wow. Keep shining. Keep keep moving forward. Thank you. And keep passing the torch. Thank you so much. Um, no final thoughts. Just super grateful to be here. And... Here's a question. Okay. What advice would you give our little girls? I have a daughter, mm -hmm. I have two granddaughters. Mm -hmm. Any message to our little girls? Yeah, I would say... Whatever you feel like you want to do, just do it. Just get get the work done. Do it. Don't give up. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. And dream big. You know, I'm learning that for myself. Like I, I don't dream big enough. 
dream big um just think about the things that you want and just know god has way bigger things than what you can even say you want you know you can say i want to own the united states well god wants to give you the world so i would say you know have those dreams uh keep your faith stay strong and, and don't let anybody tear you down hey, deal tip and digger we appreciate you thank you keep watching bmorenews.com the news before the news where we uncover <laughs> the truth